Hi everybody, uh, Scrap Chicky here. I'm going to share with you a project that I've been working on. I'm using um, the latest uh, collection from Bow Bunny and it is called Love Letters and the paper looks like that and it's just too cute. I cannot get over this paper. This little hearts and the... Ah, it's just adorable. They've got stickers and... Oh, it's fabulous. Okay, so first I'm going to share with you the... Um, the layout I made. So that's why I had to zoom out here because I'm trying to get all of it in if I can. Okay, that's as much as I'm gonna get. Okay, so this is the first half, first page. And then it just says I and then heart and then you. And this is just some old uh, tinkering ink uh, letters. And I think I've shared with you guys before, I, I know that's an old, I don't even know if that's companies even around anymore, but they're sticker, they're die cut letters and number sheets were yucky. They're so hard to get these out and it's just like kind of a pain. But I was able to salvage the I and the U and then I just used some of the dimensional stickers if you can see from the collection just to kind of make that heart that pop out there. Some amazing stuff for this collection. It's so so cute. Um, the stickers that come, the sticker sheet that comes with that is just, it's got so many amazing little um, sentiments and then banners and little things like that. Another thing, and I have to thank my sister for that, for this, is um, these little thingy-majiggies. <laughs> They're um, the My Mind's Eye Lost and Found um, enamel dots. And they are so cute. They're a great alternative to using pearls or to using bling. And I just, ah, oh, she showed them to me and I was so excited. They're so cute and they're really, really fun. So I've used that a lot on these um, projects that I did. So this is some more, um, the little dimensional stickers you can see, some of the enamel dots, and then I just put um, two 4x4 four four photo mats on here. Some more. This paper is just too cute. So this is the first half and then this is the second page. So they'll go side by side like this. And um, this one is just two four by six um, photo mats and lots of little added. There is a um, let's see a little collection, a little packet that goes with the collection that's uh, just die cuts and journaling um, spots, and they have little hearts in there. But if you notice, the hearts don't really look like hearts. So this is the hearts that come with the collection, and then that's actually like a that's the Martha Stewart heart punch. You can see it's kind of a little bit different. I don't know why they're like that. I don't know if they were cut wrong or what, but. They don't really look like hearts to me, but what can I do? <laughs> so this is some of the banners and the uh, stickers that I mentioned before. There's just so many cute little things. This is one of the journaling spots and one of the die cuts, and I just kind of added it on top with um, some foam squares, and this is one of the dimensional stickers. Another tag here that I kind of tried to layer. I'm trying, really trying to be better at, at layering. There's um, some videos, some ladies out there that just have got that down pat and I love the way it looks and I'm I'm trying really hard. <laughs> so there's my layout. Um, the next thing I did create was some some cards and this is my first one. I'll probably I can zoom in now so that you don't have to be seeing all that extra space. Okay. So this is my card. Oops, too much. <laughs> okay. This is um four by cut four by four and a half by eleven I want to say, I think. Oh. Anyway, this is some of the die cut or the chipboard pieces that come that are part of the collection. They're so, so cute. I love this notebook or this uh, music note background. It's really, really cute. And this just says, uh, it's one of those little banner stickers from the sticker sheet and another dimensional sticker there. Special delivery and I am doing better at fixing the inside of my cards. If you guys watch my 12 Days of Christmas, I try to do the inside of every single card. So I think I'm finally getting <laughs> getting used to it. So just another piece of um, cardstock and quick little simple banner that I did. And then this sticker that I thought was so cute. And then a heart. That's the Martha Stewart heart punch, one of the uh, pattern papers. So this one, it feels kind of heavy. I think it actually might, gonna, it's gonna have to take some extra um, postage because this chipboard piece is kind of heavy. The next one I did was this one, and this is from the sticker sheet. I just thought that was too stinking cute. <laughs> so you float my boat, and then I did 
um, used my EK Success, I don't even know what this one is, the lacy punch or whatever, to do the bottom, and added some of those enamel dots on the little heart there on the boat. Just a great color. I love the collection. The colors are so cute. Um, the inside of the card is just a um, piece of cardstock, and then this is from the die cut collection. So there's my third one. I really like this. This is um, American Crafts textured cardstock. I don't know if you can see that. Ooh. I like that a lot. And then this is my last card. Um, this is just a doily that I got from. Uh, that I had in my stash. This is actually from the die cut collection. It's just a big kind of an ornate flower. I thought that was really pretty. This is one of the stickers. Um, it's a big, it actually goes underneath that piece there, but I thought it would it would be okay to just layer that on top. Again, trying to do the layering. Added another sticker here. This one is just one of those little strips. I should show you, they have all these cute on the sticker sheet. This is a sticker sheet, isn't it adorable? I wanted to use that one, I just didn't get around to doing that. But. At, and then it has all these tiny little like um, little sayings on there and I had to laugh I saw that when I wanted to use it so bad <laughs> I thought it was so cute but it has all these two, tiny little um, words and, and sayings and stuff that I think was so super cute that's really unique to that collection um, this and I thought this was very creative of me just forgive me but I'm going to toot my own horn for a second <laughs> Okay, so this little square right there, a little corner, is actually these little pieces that come in the corner of the sticker. So you see when you take the sticker off this, oops, oh, I just flipped it off somewhere. <gasps> Where'd it go? Oh, darn it. Okay, that's what I get for demonstrating. So it comes off of this part right here. Okay, and I had, there was a bunch of other banners right here, and so there was little pieces of it left. And I used those because I thought that's just a perfect thing to find. Oh, I found it. Yay. Okay. <laughs> So I used that as um, my own little photo corner kind of thing. And then I used some more enamel dots, alternating colors on each of the four corners. And this is a more American, American Crafts cardstock. And, and I didn't decorate the inside of this one. Aren't I terrible? I need to do that. I'm just probably going to put cardstock in here. So um, that's the end of... That's the last card I did. And finally, because I fell in love with this collection, I could not stop working on it. And I have been cleaning out my scrapbook room um, like I try to do at the end of every year. I'm still nowhere near finished. I've gotten one corner done. And then I found this, so I had to stop working on it. But I have all this um, extra like chipboard from projects that I've done before. This one, these chipboard pieces were actually uh, three inches wide by, you know, the 12 um, inches long and I cut them down and I got six pieces one let's see was it six one two three four five oh five sorry five pieces of um, three inches by six and a half inches and I used the covered it in some of the all the scraps and stuff that I had left over and I used um, the die cut stickers or the chipboard stickers and it just it has a little cute band. It says, I love you. And then I used a close to my heart stamp that says, because. And I figured this could be a fun way to kind of talk about your loved one or your spouse or whatever. And um, tell them all the different reasons why you love them. So, this is one of the... Um, those of you who are familiar with Bow Bunny know that, like, on the back of one of their pattern papers, they'll have, like, you can cut it into four. So, it's like four little journal... Or four little squares. And I think... This kind of explains it. So it comes like this, and then on the back is the regular pattern paper, but there's four or five of these, four you know, different sizes of these on the back side. And I used, it was a doily, and I cut it out, fussy cut it, and then cut it in half so I could just add it to the back of, um, of this cover so that it kind of looks, just added a little bit more dimension to it. So these are some of the little dimensional foam cup, uh, dimensional stickers. I thought those were super cute. They're tiny little hearts and this is the first page just kind of used some of the die cut papers and cardstock just to make my own little journaling spots figured this could be just a really quick and easy journaling album um, again just 
little bits and pieces from the collection that I thought were super cute. This is another one of the chipboard um, pieces. Foam squares, and I love that this ha this collection has an entire sheet, an entire sheet of banners. Isn't that awesome? I love, love, love this one. I wish I could. Oh, I would use them all if I could, but I had to limit myself. This is also um, one of the journaling spots that comes in the noteworthy uh, collection that comes along with it. And I actually cut it in half and used one of it here, and then you'll see the other one, the other half of it, and later on in the album. Just used one of the stickers. I love this. this is one of my favorite pattern papers from this collection. The little, little stripes and the hearts. I thought it was so much fun. This is one of the K and Company journaling spot that I thought you know you could just write on. There another K and Company journaling spot, and this is one of the die cut pieces. And this is one of those tiny little um, sayings squares that I was showing you about before. I thought that was so super cute. And then some little flowers, and I added those um, enamel dots on there, just because I love those. They're so much fun to work with. This is the next page. This is the other half of that that journaling spot. I used the other half of it here. Added some of the um, foam or dimensional stickers, and then more of those little sayings and stuff. I thought that one was so cute. Heartthrob. So. And then this is the last page, and I just a piece of um, American Crafts cardstock, coordinating cardstock, and this says, uh, you're just my type, and more banners. And this is a really cute, simple album. Just put um, some organza ribbon, some seam binding, and the uh, rickrack. So hopefully, hopefully you guys like it. I had a lot of fun. This collection is adorable, absolutely. It's got to be one of my favorites. Um, I haven't, let's see, I haven't really had a favorite favorite in a while, so this, co the color combinations, just everything about it just makes me want to, just, oh, I love it, I want to keep working on it, um, let's see, I know we're, like, having, it's not even Christmas yet, but, um, I've got, been working on this, because I just thought, oh, these colors are just so, so cute, after my 12 days of Christmas, I'm kind of, not that I'm christmas out, but I'm just, I'm ready to move on to something else. So I'll hopefully maybe I'll have another video before um, before Christmas for uh, with a Christmas uh, project. But for now, this is what I created and this is what I've been working on. And I thank you guys for watching. Um, wishing you guys happy holidays. And um, just in case I don't get back before Christmas, I wanted to um, to wish you guys all a very merry Christmas and happy holidays to everybody. Thanks so much for watching, and we will um, see you in the next video.